and good morning. <laughs> or something like that. Anyway, it's Saturday, the 4th of April. The 4th of the 4th. Today, it's 6.55, British summertime. That's what summer looks like. Easter Saturday, an emergency Beano, and going towards the left. That there, that's where my bus arrives, or will arrive, from that direction there. That's the bridge end, where they say Budweiser. No, it's American Budweiser, not Budweiser Budvar. It used to be run by a guy called Angus Donaldson. I think he's departed now. But on my 18th, I think it was my 18th. Oh, I don't know. Huh? Might not have been. No, it wasn't. Anyway, it was a Christmas. We all dressed up as Angus Young from ACDC and went there. It was an experience. He used to be a liberal, and then a liberal democrat, and then progressive independent. Happy days. Ah, that's not my bus, luckily. Otherwise, I'd have to run like the wind. Anyway, it comes that direction. Go there, and over the bus stop there. But eventually, it ends up at the top of it. I know, this is dull. Probably be some meerkats today, as opposed to periscopes. Okay. This is the back roads. The back roads to the Queen's Hotel, which is in the distance. See the bus to the left and up a bit. It's sort of a grey blue. Anyway, um, tried out the free Wi Fi on the bus. Actually, not bad. Splash page. It says that I agree. Get on with it. Worked. Don't know who the provider is. Um, but my three connection seemed to be a lot better. However, somewhere where the three connection isn't that good, I'm going to have a crack at it. Level three, I've got to be honest, really good. So there you go. I'm going to meerkat today as opposed to uh, periscope for no other reason than why not. Okie dokie, yeah. Where that yellow van is. Yellowy orange DHL. DHL? DHL. German post office. TNT, uh, the Dutch post office. Of all the post offices in the world. He says, moaning on about nothing in particular. To be honest, they're all much of a much nice. Right, okay. Queen's Hotel ahead. Over there, Pen and Wig. And, well, if I go from the Pen and Wig bus stop, there it is. Right, done. Beer Festival over. Now they're showcasing this cider. Nice view of the carpets to start off with for Mr. Manning and the first point of the day, which I shall be mere cutting in a short period of time. This is Trickster by Brains, SA Brains and Co. 4.2% alcohol by volume. Apparently a complex pale ale. Let us test the complexity. Oh, by the way, black pudding on sale here today with the breakfast. It smells like a bitter. Yeah, it is complex. I don't know what the hell it is of. So it's a little bit watery. Could do with a uh, touch more body. A nice finish. It's a B plus. 
have to see. The old John Wallace, nice carpets. Larry Linton. Is this the same? No, I can't. No. It's not the same carpet as the Ernest Willows. Bless you. Um, this is Dragon's Revenge by the Kite. Four and a half percent alcohol by volume. A Golden Ale. Issues with Sterling. English Hoppy. Like a spicy star. And then a really nice bitter semi citrusy finish. It goes on for ages. B plus. The world has arrived. Newport playing Cardiff at the rugby. Mostly Newport, although some Cardiff. Anyway, Lord Hobo Beacons. A collab collaboration. Good thing in brewing at the moment. Between Brecon Brewing and New England Dales. I don't know where New England are. It could be in the States, it could actually be in England. 5.5% alcohol by volume. Could be a bit tricky. Nice looking pint. Cold. Smells a bit citrusy. Mm. Very hoppy. Nice. B plus plus. I'm a sucker for these American hops. This spot. This B. WH Mr. by Ruler. Essential for my gardening. And now I'm in the kind of way. This is Camelot by Goss. Got food. 4.4% alcohol by volume. Some sort of would be on the TV. Ooh, got this. Darkness mode. Look at that, real wood, Mr. Man. Hmm. Starts off like an ale, but finishes like a stout. That's not bad. B plus.